it's almost five o'clock it is oh just turned <laughs> all right all right everybody it's monday this is we're sitting here doing watch me work i see lou i want to hear all about your date night lou in celebration of your project but first we have to do the basics um it's watch me work i'm susan r parks we've been doing this show for like 12 or 13 years or something like that. We started out in the lobby of the public theater and um, doing it live. And now we're very happily doing it on Zoom so we can meet with you regardless of our vaccination or health status or whatever. Um, so the idea is this, watch me work. Me and the title is you. We get together and we work together and then we talk about your creative process. Um, while we don't have time for you to present your work um, during the show, we do have time to talk about your work and your creative process, whatever that uh, work is about. And if you have a question, after we work for 20 minutes, we'll open up the floor. If you have a question, uh, Lolly, can I tell you how to get in touch? Go, Lolly. Yes, I can. <laughs> so if you're in the Zoom room with us, you can ask questions by using the raise your hand function, which should be under the reactions tab at the bottom of your screen. Um, if you have any trouble finding it, you can just message me privately in the chat and I can help you out. If you are watching the stream live on HowlRound, uh, feel free to send us your questions via the Public Theater's Instagram or Twitter account or via Watch Me Work's Twitter account, which is at Watch Me Work SLP with the hashtag HowlRound. That's hashtag H-O-W-L-R-O-U-N-D. So that is how you ask a question. Fantastic. Fantastic. Okay. So, uh, yeah, it's 502. Let's get it together. Here we go. And go.
All right. Hello. All right, all right. Yeah, we are back. We are here. Anybody got a question? An answer. Lou, did you have a question? Lou, did you you guys go and celebrate? Uh, we did. We had an amazing night. It's been a really good long weekend. I'm getting back to work today with you, but it was great. Thanks for uh, asking. Congratulations. Congratulations. Thanks. Well done. Thanks. And for those who don't know, you handed your manuscript into your uh, tell, tell us. Tell us. Um, well, actually, I, I submitted a really a lengthy and in-depth revised outline for my manuscript project to my literary agent on Friday. So we're waiting to do a, a call in two weeks and yeah. too excited to get it. And we'll see. Confetti falling from the sky. <laughs> Thank you, everyone. <laughs> Fantastic. Wow, that's really cool. Thank you. I'm glad to be back to work today with you all, though. I will say that. Yeah. Does anyone have a question? Feel free to use the raise your hand function, if so. We can just like bask in the reflective glow. Oh, Malala, you have one. I won't call them then, Lolly, you do. OK. <laughs> Hello. Hello, Susan. Hey. I, only, I only wanted to say that I am working on my flashcards. Oh, we, look at you. Yes, so I have flashcards and I am working on it because it was a week full of things with school and girls, and, but I began and I am on it. How do they feel? How does that feel? It feels good. It feels different because I, I came with the, you know, this typing, 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 typing. And suddenly I change, it's like changing gears. Mm -hmm. I am trying, and, and I like it because uh, it's making me see details, situations. Oh, okay. So to put in the cards, I need something that is, I like to talk a lot and I, I am very, you know, mm -hmm. so the cards are making me to think in concept to say, okay, this is happening, it's this. And I like this, and mm -hmm. it, so, mm -hmm. but I am trying to have all of that so I can see the the, the entire situation. Cool, oh, very cool. Yes, very very cool. And I wanted to tell you that because um, I am so thankful. It is a, it's a different thing to do, and mm -hmm. I am mm -hmm. I am happy to try. Mm -hmm. Oh, right on, very good. I'm so glad. I'm glad. I'm glad. It feels it feels good. Oh, okay. Yeah. Well done. Good job. Hmm, yeah. Look at us. Mm -hmm. People getting work done. Yay. Thank you, Susan. Yeah, yeah. Well, thank you all. I mean, it, it takes, you know, it's all of us sort of moving forward, you know, and we inspire each other. So definitely that's how it works. Anybody else have questions or comments? Oh, it looks like we have one from Rebecca. I will ask Rebecca. you to unmute. Rebecca, how are you doing? I, I am good. Good to see you. Good to see you, even though we're only seeing your beautiful headshot. <laughs> well, thank you. I, I was, I'm on my phone, so I'm just, you know, I'm not very good at using the phone, but um, with. <laughs> hi there. Hi. Good to see you. Good to see you too. Um, so I just, I was do, trying to do my morning writing practice, which is, you know, 20 minutes or three pages, whichever comes first. Fantastic. And, and I've been having difficulties, continue difficulties wrestling with my manuscript. Um, mm -hmm. Even though I, I feel like I wrote a really good agent letter, I'm looking for an agent. Uh -huh. um, and um, I remembered the talk with Luis Alfaro uh -huh. from last year, and uh -huh. I went and looked for it uh -huh. because great. He um, because the, I, the thing I was trying to remember was the three part piece where mm -hmm. he described um, he chooses an object, an action, and a line mm -hmm. for 
his his morning practice. And I've uh-huh. I've seen similar things from other writers. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Um, so I'm having I'm having difficulty reengaging um, with your with, morning pages or with oh go ahead I'm sorry with the, with the, well with morning pages and with the manuscript so I was just trying to find some reminders that would help me sort of mm-hmm. be back uh, in it mm-hmm. more mm-hmm. Um, mm-hmm. yeah yeah yeah. Um, I mean, just things, ways to do things, not, you know, I mean, maybe these might be helpful. Thanks for asking. Um, um, sometimes, you know, going stress, I mean, goals are great. Don't get me wrong. I love goals. I love finish lines. I love lists. I love crossing things off the list. I love getting shit done. I love making money. All those good things. Okay. So whatever. Now, um, sometimes uh, the, the best way to sort of move forward is to come at it from a different way if we're feeling Hmm. you know uh you know like we're having some kind of difficulty um or we're feeling slowing down or we need to re-engage in a different way so sometimes um in my notebook you you can write uh sound i know this all sounds really corny like a gratitude list it might have nothing to do with your writing your or your project you know what i mean sometimes um it's good to write about someone who you're, so, so, someone who has done you wrong and something <laughs> you need to let go of. Sometimes we can't hold on to what we, you know, accept what we is being offered because we're, we're like this. Mm. And, 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 and with good reason. I'm not saying, you know what I mean? I mean, I'm not saying we don't have, we don't have the right to be, you know, hurt and, and angry or, or about some things. And I'm not, this is not anything that you're specifically talking about, Rebecca. I'm just talking about in general. Sometimes um, we, uh, there's a, there's a, there's a, there's a heaviness because we're carrying things that we don't need to be carrying right now. And we can, we can put aside and um, you know, mm. like that. Um, there was that, there's that story. I don't know if it's a fake or not, but it's interesting um, that when um, whoever, what was it, Michelangelo's painting The Last Supper, I think it was. Um, uh, and forgive me if I'm getting all the facts wrong, but he was painting, he painted all the, you know, the apostles and everything. He was painting the face of Jesus. He couldn't paint it because there was someone who was, he was so angry at he couldn't really paint the face until he let go of that unnecessary. Mm-hmm. You know, these days there are a, there's a, a lot of stuff going on that I believe that those of us who are who are feeling it or being directly or, you know, yeah, you know, indirectly impacted by it, have a right to feel, you know, wronged. And yet there are days when you got to you got to you got to you got to give it to, you know, you, you got to let it put you got to put it down <laughs> if yeah. you want to go forward with your work that might not directly have to address that that issue Mm -hmm. and it's tricky because then we look at people who never have those kinds of issues or don't seem to have those kinds of issues and go hmm you know (laughs) that looks to me like they're on easy street Mm -hmm. um maybe they are maybe they aren't i don't know if it matters but Mm -hmm. so there's a lot of stuff out there you know um so anyway, that's, I mean, that's what, that's what I, I just deal with in my own just daily life. <laughs> Forget the work, you know, my own just daily life living day to day. So I just offer that as maybe something that would help just different ways of getting on the page. Sometimes I just write pages about what I, what I'm thankful for. Ooh, it's a lovely day. I have a fan in my apartment. It's a hot day and I got a fan, you know, and, and it works, you know? Uh, so I won't turn into a, you know, a ball of sweat, you know, I don't know. <laughs> just silly things like that, I guess. Is that at all helpful? I mean, uh, yeah, I I, th- I think it is. It, it, back looking back over 2020, I realized that I had been doing like this gratitude thing every day, and and then I stopped. It was just like, oh well, I'm not going to write that anymore. <laughs> and and I I was wondering this morning, it's like, I wonder if that has anything to do with it. So um, yeah, so that's helpful. And you know, 
writing about a difficult event and then that those difficult events keep happening to, you know, to people, <laughs> to black people is um, also frequently, you know, I just come to a screeching halt and it's just like. Yes. Yeah. And, and recognizing the story is necessary to the conversation. I mean, it's, yes, it's imperative for the ancestors, you know, but it's, and it's necessary to the conversation. Yeah. Um, but it, it's hard. Yes, it is hard. So. When, and when we read about, or we hear about, or things happen mm -hmm. in you name it, wherever, <laughs> you know, yeah. And we hear about those things and there's a there's a um, there's a, a, a there, there might be a, a weariness that comes over you one, not you, I'm not putting mm. that on you, but there might be a weariness that comes <laughs> over. Uh, I'll just me. I might feel weary. I might <laughs> feel angry. I might feel. You know, like, yeah, yeah, all those things. When I hear people who I respect profoundly talk about their lives and say, people who are older than, than we are and say, um, my life has been framed by segregation. Mm -hmm. I heard someone say that recently and I'm like, and it's true. Mm -hmm. And it makes me more than want to holler. <laughs> their words, <laughs> you know? Um, so there's all that. And um, yeah, so I'm not, I'm not denying, <laughs> you know, I'm not turning a blind eye and I'm not, I'm just go out on a limb here. And I'm not saying like so many people in the marketplace say, come on, make it about black joy now. Yeah. Well, and I'm like, <laughs> no, it's like when you walk down the street and some construction worker, you know, tells you smile, <laughs> I'm like, you know, so we, we, there's a lot of, there's a lot of, uh, uh, there's a lot of stuff that we're wrestling with. Yeah. So if you feel, if one feels weary sometimes and your pen feels a little heavy to pick up, you know, but all the more reason to find a way, you know? Mm -hmm. Yeah. You know. I, I do have to say, thank God for masks in terms of the construction work. <laughs> <laughs> yes 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 you, you, you know i mean so we can we can say things like <laughs> yeah, yeah yeah i love my i love my mask i i it's it's yeah i i love wearing it yeah like like fan on said you know we wear a mask you know so mm -hmm. yeah yeah i mean yeah i'm gonna be wearing mine for a long time yet yes thank you it's, <laughs> it is Rebecca. helpful yeah it's it's thank you for for yeah, allowing me to talk about it with you. Thank you. Thanks, Rebecca. Um, next we have Laura. Hello, how are Hi. you? Hey, how you I, doing? Good, good. I've been writing from this group and then I performed this weekend. I haven't Comedy, been performing, right? doing stand-up. Stand-up, you know. that's right, that's right. And How's it going? It's actually, I got paid for the first time, second time this, this week, but it was like fun. The thing is, is that it's very apropos that I come after you because you know, my stuff is all about race mm. and all the people that were talking, you know, all my buddies that I do this with, they're not about race, but ah. they did say, Oh, you're you're really writing. And I'm not a student. I'm like I was horrible in school growing uh -huh. up and everything, you know. But thank you for letting me have this. I'm just wondering how do I maybe it's always race just comes up every single time. I just write about race and it's like I don't know, it's really not a well, I'm trying to make it comedy, you know, because if nobody else is talking about race, I mean, it's obviously not working, you know? So that's why I, I said, okay, I'm just gonna tell you three things. How to pull America together that I said. I said, okay, we gotta socialize together, break bread together and have sex together. 
whites, blacks, Asians, whites. We got to oh. fuck together. It worked for me. So. <laughs> <laughs> but these are things that I do. And so I don't know. I don't even know if it's funny, you know. I laugh. I don't know. But then I'm Thank weird. You. So that's I love it. But I then, mean, but, but what, do you, what do you mean? What do you mean? It sounds like things are going well for you. Well, in your work. I actually, you know, I Yuri Kochiyama was my mentor. OK. You know, and she was a great she was Malcolm X's like Malcolm X. And she were when when Malcolm died, she was holding his head. So oh, she was goodness. sort of like the Asian-American person. You know, so my writing, I know that I can't speak like her as an academic or whatever. Mm -hmm. The only way I could do it is through comedy, you know, or just trying to make people laugh. Uh -huh. And I think this this topic needs laughter, I guess. You know, maybe that's what I'm saying to you. Why don't you write about happy black or whatever? Right, 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 right. right. But it's, it's different, Laura, if it comes from you and you say, I'd like to write in such a way or I'd like to whatever, that's something coming from the artist. I'm saying when the marketplace tells us to be a certain way, that's the same thing. Way, that's the same thing as the marketplace saying only write about slavery because that's what sells. It's the same thing. That's what I'm saying. I'm, 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 I have issue with what the mar a marketplace telling us what to create in order to sell something. And the best advice you gave me was don't worry about the audience. Just write what you're going to yeah. write. Yes, I guess that's it. So thank you so no, much. No, thank you. Thank you. And I'm so glad you're doing your work. And I'm so glad you're getting out there and write about whatever you want. If it's race, write about race. If it's not, not. If it's whatever you said, you had a, a son, a daughter, or a child. I did say that. Yeah, answer. you did. You right, know, right. Did. So if you want to write about your kid, you know, whatever you want to write about, you, you get to when write about said, it. When they said, actually, that line was, is that, you know, you don't even look Asian, but don't open your mouth because you sound like a Jew. And I said that, and this this guy in the front didn't like that. He was like, oh. Ugh. but my oh. next line is, I feel like a feisty Jewish woman. Right. You know, but I'm trapped in this midget Chinese body. But, you know, so these are the type of things I say. I like, I like those jokes. Uh, Thank you. Yeah. Uh, Thank okay. you. And I see some smiles. So yeah, I guess. Yeah. Okay. Thank you, guys. I love you guys. Oh, thank, thank, you. You. thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Any other questions? It looks like Salma has a question. Cool. Yeah, hi. Um, so I am just starting out like with my writing. I'm a student, but I'm an like I study acting. So like writing isn't something that I've always done. So do you have any advice for someone that's just starting out mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. um yeah sure let's see um do you like to write in a notebook or on the computer i guess both like i have my notebook in front of my computer and then i have like a document as well at the same time uh-huh uh-huh what do you think about so if it i mean writing is like you know training for a like a an a series of marathons, you know, you know, do you have any kind of um, physical practice that you do like a yoga practice or a walking practice or a running practice? Do you do anything like that? Yeah. Running and running. Okay. And running. Great. So you know what it was like, maybe you, you, you can remember what it was like when you ran your first, what half mile lap around the track. Right. <laughs> I mean, right. I mean, you had to kind of build up, right. And you had to be consistent and you had to not overdo it because you wanted to come back and kind of do it every day. Yeah. You know, yeah. so writing is a, is a, a discipline and art form 
like any other art form, like learning how to play an instrument, like yoga or yoga, well, yoga arts, I suppose, the martial arts, um, you want to commit to a practice every day if you can. That sounds possible. Um, uh, things like we do in Watch Me Work are super helpful. Like you want to start with a daily practice that's modest enough so that you can come back to it every day, like um, 10 minutes, that's possible. Does that seem possible? Like a 10 minutes, what's your favorite time to write, do you think? Uh, probably like in the morning, I uh -huh. think. Uh -huh. Yeah, or even before bed. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Okay, yeah. well, let's try in the morning to start, you know, because, because um, you know, the morning the phone doesn't ring so much and you don't have um, fun activities to pull you out of the house, like a party or something like that. So, or even a rehearsal if you get it, you know, when you get doing an acting gig. So if you could try, you know, like every morning, you just try like 10 minutes in your notebook, just random thoughts you want to get in the habit of writing you know mm -hmm. and then sort of in our, our experience the, the stories or themes or whatever kind of bubble up to the surface you know are you already sort of further along than this do you already have sort of a daily writing practice I'd say yeah but it's not um like consistent because I haven't set out a specific time in my day it just kind of like happened like uh -huh. I find time I just like go on my laptop or on my notebook and I write uh-huh 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 so, so I would suggest finding choosing a specific time I mean it doesn't have to be you know seven o'clock a.m on the dot it doesn't have to be like that but it should be you get up in the morning whatever you have tea or whatever you like to do in the morning and then you sit down and write you know for 10 minutes okay just try that just see what happens when you set a specific time. Um, you can also augment that specific time with other times, more random times during the day. But I feel like if you wanna get serious about your writing, then you get serious about when you're going to write, you know, and try that. You don't have to be serious about the subject matter yet or the quality. Uh, just see if you can show up every day for your writing self. Okay. And 10 minutes. That's all. That's all you need to do. 10 minutes. It's like you're just starting out. And I would suggest getting a timer instead of using your phone, you know, as a stopwatch. But that's, you know, what you feel like doing it. This, the phone is very, you know, it's got so many exciting things happening on it. <laughs> but uh, a timer is very good. 10 mm -hmm. minutes. It's a very low bar, very modest request you're making of yourself. Mm -hmm. Okay, and see what happens. Just see what happens and check in with us every once in a while about how you're doing. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Great question. Thank you. Other questions? Okay, MC, it looks like you have a question. Hey, I'm MC. Mute. How are you doing? Good. Nice to yeah. see you all. Good um, to see this you. Is a question, but this is when something that you said that really resonates. It says, just keep, you said, just keep adding to your pile. Mm -hmm. So every time I go in different directions or I feel unmoored or am I doing it? well enough. He said, I'm just adding to my pile. Mm -hmm. And I want to say in your voice. And I, it's really helped me a lot. So thank oh, I'm you. So pleased. I'm so thank pleased. I'm so pleased. How is the work going? You had a, a cool project you were working on. Yes. With the, I know the Scottish preacher. What's he doing there? Uh, I killed him off. Uh, he's no longer in there. But actually, it's, uh, it's going pretty well. Knock on wood. All right. So, oh, well yeah. done. Well done. Yeah. Well, you know, it's ongoing. So, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. but it's so wonderful to have 
this community. So thank you. Oh, thank you, MC. Thanks for being part of it, really. That is really good to keep adding to your pile. Just keep inching forward, you know? Um, I was watching a, a documentary on George Carlin, you know, the, the comedian. It's a really interesting person and very inspiring as to what he kind of went through, where he came from, what he came out of and what he became um, in spite of the marketplace in a way, you know, and, um, and and just he just kept going, you know, he just kept going, kept. Yeah, it was we might say adding to his pile, just kept going. Um, it's, a, it's a very inspiring to know that, yeah, you're not alone in that in that uh, in the difficulty and the joy of just like, okay, I just got to write another day, another 10 minutes, you know, think of, think of what we talked, Salma, just, who's just starting out as a writer, you know, and if, if, if you feel like, gee, I can, I'm having trouble walking through my writing today, just say, okay, well, if I were a beginner and maybe today I am, let me just do 10 minutes. You know, I do it all the time all the time and you know i've been at this writing for a long time you know making things i, I but i say so sometimes it's hard so i say well i'll just do 10 minutes and it really helps it really does help so We've got about 12 minutes left. So plenty of time for folks to ask questions. Oh, I see a clapping emoji. Is that a, yeah. <laughs> is that a raised hand? <laughs> That's okay. And I, know, I can't figure out the raised hand. So I just did the clapping again. Perfect. Clapping Hello, is perfect. it's me again. Hi, how are you? <laughs> I'm good. Um, so last week you told me to start making lists of things I wanted to write about, which I did. And now I have more lists and more and more piles really. So I guess my question is just an extension of what I asked last week in some more, um, I guess, strategies and organization skills of all these things I have in different notebooks and now new new things. Cause now, now with the new list of things I want to write now, I just have more, <laughs> which okay. I guess is a well, bad no. thing. Have you gone just, through? Uh, no, no, no. We were talking about last week. I think you were talking about you had all the notebooks and a wealth of, of material. And we were just uh, talking about possibilities, possible strategies and getting it uh, in a manageable, not under control, yeah. but in a manageable uh, format so that you could kind of see what you have and yes. what you and then it could then trigger uh, and encourage you to to write about certain things instead of saying, I want to write about that time in 19, you know, 84, when I did such and such, you know, and you can go looking for, you know. so you have lists. It's, it's, it's encouraged more things. Can you look at the, are the lists typed up or written out or? No, I just wrote, wrote it out. Okay. So the lists are all written out. So can you go through with the highlighter and circle everything you're really excited about? Yes. And not circle what you're not, what you're a little less excited about? Yes. Great. So you're going to circle what you're excited about in a highlighter. What color highlighter are you using? Um, sometimes pink, sometimes orange, sometimes yellow. I have all different colors. I love okay. colors. I even have a purple one. <laughs> okay. So why don't you use one color? Maybe. <laughs> Just one color. And if you've already started, you know, you can even, you know, take a picture of the pages, print them out again. You know, that used to be photocopy back in the olden days, but take a picture of the page, print them out again. Just use one color. Again, what we're doing is you're narrowing in order to widen, which doesn't make any sense if you think about it. Like, what do you mean? You know, because if wide is widened, but if the Mississippi is like this, it's not going to be nearly as, right? I don't think powerful as if it's got banks on it. Right, if you're driving all over the road uh, and you want to get to a certain destination, it would behoove you to, you know, sort of get some kind of focus, right? You're gonna narrow. Uh, part of the artistic 
the process, who's that man? Who's that person? Is it Michelangelo again? I can't, I can't believe this. This can't be true. Um, the guy, you know, we talked about the piece of marble, you know, you get a big piece of marble and chip away at it and he chip away everything that wasn't the David, you know, right. right. And that's what you're doing. You have to sort of make decisions like I'm going to not use this right now. And it's not like I'll never use it. Oh no, it's lost forever. Darn. It's never going to be included. Hogwash. You're just circling what you want to work on right now. And if you choose one highlighter color and circle the things you're most excited about and then write up a list of those things, right? You're just focusing. That's all. Yes, it is about focusing for me because I just get so distracted. Like you were saying about the phone, it's it's not just the phone. It's uh, it's so many things distract me. So right, anything that I any any tool of of my own mental management, I guess. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so, that's okay. So helpful. That's okay. That's that's what you know. That's it's it's so much about art making is personality management. And I am finding that going right into for this session when we're all together, I go right into the document and I and I type out. I don't write because I'm always writing freehand in my journal. So I need I think I need to separate like this is the time you're writing freehand. This is now time to write right onto the document, either transferring something from a notebook to it or what's happening right right then, you know. OK, all right. You can also circle all the things in one color highlighter that you're very excited about and type up that list and write that stuff. You can always go back to the other documents and circle other things in another color highlighter. But for right now, choose one highlighter, circle the things you're excited about, type up the things you've circled and go from that work from that list. Okay, got it. Yeah, it it, it helps. And and check back in because we want to hear how you're doing. I will. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks. Thanks. Uh, Richard, you're up next. Okay. I figured out how to raise my hand. Um, Hi, how are you? Um, you. Is there a magic moment? Rest of the question. Is there a magic moment, you know, when it's the right time to send out what you've written for feedback? I guess like a year ago, you know, I I like feel we went through, I went through this thing where the feedback that I'd gotten was so unhelpful and Mm -hmm. you were really helpful to tell me about, you know, Mm -hmm. ignore it. Mm -hmm. Um, So I'm just like every day, like I I like been an hour or so I write, it's always being revised, but I don't know at what point I just need to send it out to someone and tell me, is it working? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. That's a great question, Richard. Um, and you, so you've been working on it very, uh, very mindfully. And um, I would say if you, you think of, well, what are the things I want to do with a manuscript? So, you know, like you have a... Um, uh, I'm trying to remember what it what you're writing. Um, screenplay. Screenplay. That exactly. was right. question was is it a play or is it a screenplay? Right, 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 right. right. And I'm, I'm I'm thinking that if you if you can read the manuscript and you have some things yet that you still want to do, right? That's okay. Um, you can sort of just jot those down in a notebook or or in a document, and then you think of okay, I it feels like you want to send it out to somebody because it's nice to get feedback or at least be in conversation with somebody. It's very important to think to whom will I send it? You know? So perhaps the people who were gave you the not so helpful feedback last time might not be the people you want to send it to right now. You might want to send it to somebody else, maybe one person, maybe a close friend. Maybe half the screenplay. Maybe if it's 120 pages, let's just say, maybe you want to send them half, or, half or, or a quarter of it. Maybe just 30 pages. You're the first 30 pages of my screenplay. Could you give it a read? Could we have a coffee about it? Oh. Or a Zoom coffee, you know, depending on where they are in the universe. You know? So again, sort of um, 
be modest in your request to somebody, you know, gently go into it. But now might be a good time. It sounds like you want to send it to somebody. So think of, I hope you send it to someone who really cares about you, uh, who cares more for you than for their own opinion. Yeah. And uh, who's willing to read it. 30 pages is a good amount. You know, get their feedback. First 30 pages, that would be fun. That would be a fun coffee. You could take them out to lunch and, you know, to reciprocate. Um, would be social. Does that sound like it might be helpful? Yes. Uh, what was the first thing you said about um, choosing who you wanted? Uh, it, it was something about the audience, um, j just feeling the need for an audience. Yeah, it, it, sound, it sounds to me like you would like to have some feedback on your project. So while you might still have some things in your script that you would still like to work on, you say, I know I need to really sharpen the main character's journey. I know I need whatever these things are, right? I'm just making these things up. But it's even if you know that those are the things you have to do, sometimes it's still fun to get some feedback because it's social. And it sounds like you might enjoy that. And so I would say, send out just, you know, 30 pages or 20 pages even and hang out with a good friend and just talk about it. Because um, as good friends, your good friends will have time to read 20 pages and have a coffee, you know? Great, thank you so much. Thank you, Richard, thank you. Good question. Awesome, we're at 5.58. Does anybody have a last question before we close out? No, going once, going twice. All right, SLP, do you wanna close us out? No, thanks everybody for being here. Thanks Lolly for being the MC, and um, we'll see you, ooh, is next week Memorial Day? Uh, next week is we'll Memorial figure, Day. It's okay, we'll, 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 we'll figure out the schedule as we go forward, but we look forward to seeing you guys real soon. Yeah. And uh, enjoy your work until then. Awesome. Okay.